Hi everybody, back again. Got a 1966 Shelby GT350. Uh, it's a real 66 Shelby, number 2021. Uh, the car has some very interesting history. It's been a project car for for a long time. Um, obviously, it's still a project car, but it's, it's a great car, very solid. Uh, comes with a lot of good parts. Uh, we'll go a little of the history first. Uh, it was bought new in Miami from an adult film star. Um, had the original title there in her name. Have the original owner's manual and the Shelby registry actually uh, says a lot about um, her ownership. Let me find the back of this in the manual. It's got a name stamped in it. There it is. Uh, the car was sold new at JD Ball Ford. Um, just a few pictures. The Shelby number stamped on the apron, which I'll show you. Uh, the Shelby tag is original and has all three cave in stamps. It was a red four speed with white stripe car. Um, that's uh, one of her, her movies she was in. Anyway, uh, that's all in the registry. So it's a 66 Shelby. Again, real deal car. Really solid car. Been setting for many many years kind of in this state um, it does have a complete drivetrain uh, it's rebuilt 289 hypo t10 four-speed trans and a correct hypo nine inch rear uh, that's probably the original uh, it does come with the trim and stuff that you see missing the windshield moldings front and back um, other trim uh, I've kind of put together the interiors fold down uh, you can see the the hack job from Shelby to get those uh, plexiglass rear windows in that's the way it looks on about every car really uh, really nice in the uh, win window channels I have the inner uh, inner trim for that as well four-speed pedal Floor pans are original. They're in great shape. Uh, both sides. The body's really straight. I mean, somebody had just started doing a little body work on the bottom of the door. But the frame rails, front and rear, and everything are great. I've got pictures of everything. Um, the good part about it is the engine's already rebuilt. Uh, Fully rebuilt 289 Hypo. Um, it's got the Cobra oil pan, the Cobra intake, dual point distributor, uh, the thick Hypo balancer. Uh, it's got the Shelby export brace reinforcement. It's got the Shelby stamp right there. It's very nice and clear. A lot of them are really faint. Um, the three K vins are there. I'm not gonna give those out and, until um, I get a very serious buyer. There's one under this fender bolt. Uh, there's one right under the tag, it's there. And there's one right back there hidden under the fender as well. But you can see all original aprons, the spot welds have never been changed on either panel front and rear so all the cave-ins are uh, just spin it a little bit let me spin the tag I, I drew I drilled a rivet out but the number is there you can see it I've got pictures of them uh, let's go around here's the the tags original 2021 so the hood is aftermarket but it's correct it's new what else let's see other Shelby characteristics aside right there is where they drilled for the tachometer uh, I have the dash pad but it's uh, not in great shape it's got the front disc brakes uh, t10 four speeds in it the 9 inch 66 9 inch hypos in it with the drain plug and the tapered axle tubes 
like I said, the frame rails are really good. It's got the underride traction bar mounts up there. You can see them. Gas cap, the, the trunk's full of parts. I've got pictures inside the trunk. But uh, real 66 red four-speed Shelby. This car's begging for somebody to take it but take it and finish it i mean the body really wouldn't be that hard to finish engine's already done you know with these cars getting well into the two hundred thousand dollar range these days somebody needs to save this car but uh i've got a lot more information anybody that's interested uh just call the number on the sign 304-731-6497 I can send you a couple hundred pictures, um, all the registry information, pictures of the title, all the history I have on the car. So thanks for watching.